super dope. What's going on, everybody? Dragon Ball Super Dope. My name is Kyle. Thank you for checking this out. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, our Rhode Island Comic Con 2019 wrap up. Um, I don't know if it's really a wrap up because what we opted to do instead this year was actually just take the little mobile recorder, uh, run around, and get some sound from the floor and talk to some Dragon Ball fans. Uh, so what you're going to hear uh, coming up is just clips starting on Friday uh, that go through the weekend. And uh, the sound quality in the first 10 minutes or so is a little whack. Uh, we basically had one mic turned up way too loud as we were running around and uh, it peaked the entire time. So for about the first 10 minutes or so, um, you'll notice the sound quality is less than cool. Um, but stick with us for that first 10 minutes. It gets better on the other side of it. Uh, we have met a lot of great people this weekend. We handed out a lot of cards this weekend. We shook a lot of hands this weekend. MVP of convention weekend, hands down, for Dragon Ball Super Dope, was Jimmy. Jimmy came to play, y'all. Handed out the most cards, shook the most hands, tracked down the most people for us to be like, hey, you want to answer some Dragon Ball questions? We'll give you a dollar. And then we asked them some Dragon Ball questions. Uh, we met a lot of great, cool people over the weekend. Anime fans, Dragon Ball fans. Talk to some My Hero people as well. I'm going to hold that My Hero uh, questions. The My Hero questions will be for the next time that me and Feds get together. These Dragon Ball questions, though, uh, people have varying opinions all over the map, man. So uh, before we get into that sound, just the con, eighth year for Rhode Island Comic Con, Altered Reality uh, Entertainment running that con. It's gotten better and better every year. And admittedly, first few years this con ran, I think even they would admit it, um, it did not go so smoothly. I was very vocal about uh, how, you know, the con in its earlier years needed to be fixed badly. And every single year, specifically the last three or four years, it's just gotten better every single year. They finally figured out like the perfect layout, how to set everything up, the flow, the entrance, the, uh, the entrances, the exits, like it's, it's a, it's the rebuilding ordeal. Like there's a lot to see at Rhode Island comic con. And, uh, I think they hit, you know, 90,000 people came through over the course of the weekend. Another successful uh, convention weekend here in Rhode Island. It's so cool to have such a strong convention here in our home state where, you know, me and Jimmy can drive into the city, you know, 30 minutes and, uh, you know, we're surrounded by, you know, all the cool nerds that we get to shake hands and make friends with and, you know, try to coax them into listening to our podcast. So uh, here's the sound. Uh, thank you again to everybody who took the time to talk with us this weekend. We didn't have to really harass anybody, which was good. We only got told no, I think, by one dude. And uh, I don't know if he was, like, in a bad mood. Uh, maybe uh, he was in a rush or something. But it was really awkward because I was like, hey, man, uh, you want to you wanna answer some Dragon Ball questions? And he's like, no. Nah. And I was like, oh, well, it's for a dollar. Like, you know, it's a pin. And he's like, no, I'm good. And it was Saturday, and it was really busy. And there's, like, thousands of people around us, and it's slow traffic. And I'm like, all right, well, cool, man. Enjoy your weekend. And, like, I'm just forced to slow walk next to this dude for the next three minutes. So it's like, you know, we're not following you. We're just heading the same way to the escalator. So sorry for making this weirder than had to be especially since I'm highlighting how weird it is by yelling all of this at you so uh yeah big thank you to Altered Reality Rhode Island Comic Con 2019 was dope can't wait to see you guys again in 2020 uh and I hope you guys enjoy the sound from this weekend Do it up <laughs> Choo choo choo, choo choo ka choo, here at Rhode Island Comic Con Saturday afternoon. My name's Kyle. Thanks for listening to this bullshit. And I've got Jimmy with me today. Jimmy, how's your first con thing going? Fucking awesome. There's so many people here, it's ridiculous. A lot of celebrities, a lot of cosplayers running around. We're just having a good time in general. Uh, we are going to try to do, um, I guess this is probably the start of a live episode this week. Um, so far, the con is obviously very great. Uh, always have a great time here. It's great to have such a strong con here in our home state. But uh, we're going to run around and try to get some live sound from Dragon Ball fans this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to be doing that panel uh, for my client, Travis, around 3.30. But after 3.30 uh, and that panel wrap up, I'm kind of 
open season, baby. We're going to be drinking beers, ask people some Dragon Ball questions for a dollar. So me and Jimmy are uh, getting that shit together, and we'll check back in with you soon. Where that? Where's your brother at? Did you talk to your brother? I texted him and told him we were here, so. All right, so hopefully Carlton's on his way here soon. We're looking out for Russell the Muscle. He's obviously uh, in the fold as well. And uh, all right, we'll talk to you guys soon with some more super fun, super dope Dragon Ball stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we right now? We're at Rhode Island Comic Con. Yeah, but like what room? Like I just watched my friends play Super Smash Brothers like a bunch of losers for 45 minutes. What room are we in at, at, at Comic Con? We're at the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Tournament area up in 551B. This room is solely dedicated to Super Smash Brothers? Holy baloney. Yeah, it's pretty massive in New England, like the scene for like Super Smash Brothers, like competitive-wise. I did hear that like one of the top guys lives somewhere locally, like top, uh, I don't know who what his name is, but I heard that he lives kind of close by, so I don't know if that like factors into things or what. Well, Mars, he came on down to play, and he is, I believe, third in the world currently, and yeah, he's from uh, Massachusetts. All right, cool. That's probably the dude I'm thinking of. So anyway, I'm not really big into Super Smash Brothers, because I haven't played it since like 1999 on N64, and I was very good at being Link, but like adult Link, because Kid Link wasn't a thing back then in the Super Smash Brothers games, was it? I didn't really play the older games, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's your name? I go by Marion at tournaments, but my name's Val. Hi, Val. My name's Kyle. How are you doing? I'm good. So, um, you're like running things back there. You have a cash box. You're a responsible individual for this thing right now. Not, not responsible. No? No. She seems responsible. She's done it with cash. Um, community service. We're Yeah, we're basically uh, just kind of helping her, let her learn about money right now. Val is kind of struggles with adding. So this is about money, huh? This is just like community math lessons. Uh, I mean, yeah, more or less, basically. It's uh, kind of rude. Uh, I mean, <laughs> listen, she didn't answer long enough, so she gave me enough time to give her a comeback. It's <laughs> Val, who's this guy you got hanging out with you? I don't know him, and I don't want to know him. Oh. Holy, all right. Well, I feel like I may have just struck a vein. What we're going to do here now is we are going to play a game, and uh, I don't have a name for the game because when we don't really plan that far ahead. But you said that you may have watched Dragon Ball back when you were a child. Is that accurate to say that? Pretty much, yeah, just like on random, I guess, like TV, DVDs, Tsunami. VHSs. Tsunami, yeah! yeah Ooh, Tsunami out. faithful! And if you don't mind my asking, how old are you? I'm 21. Yeah. Oh, old. Oh. Yo. All right, so this is like two different generations of Dragon Ball fan communicating <laughs> right now. Uh-oh. No, we old, we old as hell. But what we're going to do, Val, is we're going to ask you these questions and uh, just kind of get your honest opinion on them. If you don't have an opinion on them, that's totally okay, because I realize that, again... Obama. Yeah, no. Uh, Jimmy's here holding my stuff. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? Good. Yeah. He's holding the reporter. And also, Carlton's dressed as a fruit llama for some fucking weird fruit reason. Llama. Fruit llama. Fruit llama. What did I say? Fruit llama? Yeah, yeah. I, said fruit. Mean. I said fruit llama. And also, I feel like I was that better in my description. That Goku's ass, I'd like you to know. I, I believe it. Anyway, what's your favorite character from Dragon Ball? Yeah, because... Me. Are you, are you like a low-key character in Dragon Ball? Yeah, I'm a background character. If whenever they're in the city, I'm just like in the crowd. I started my acting career really young. So, uh, yeah, no, you killed it right off the gate. Uh, landed a career role like a background person on Dragon Ball. Cool. All right, second question. Um, what's your favorite special attack from Dragon Ball? Shut up, Carlton. Nobody asked you, Fruit Llama. Yeah. yeah, going with the OG. A, yeah. All right. All right. All right. Hey, listen, you know what? The fact that she came up with one after not having a favorite character, let's just be appreciative of what's going on here. What's your favorite arc in Dragon Ball? Sorry, what was the question? What is your favorite arc in Dragon Ball? So that could be like uh, your favorite major villain, I guess. Like, what's your favorite piece of Dragon Ball, I guess? Oh, I also played the major villains, every single one of them. Oh, all right. Which one was your favorite to play? All of them. I do special effects makeup. Okay. Nice. Yeah. No. This is a. Uh, this is good. Now that we've gauged. Now that we've gauged you. This is question four. It says now that we've gauged you at the top of it. Um, do you like new Broly? Do you like new Broly or old Broly? New Broly. I am both Broly. Oh Jesus Christ, Val. All right, Vegito <laughs> or Gogeta? Pick. Vegeta. Nope. Vegito or Gogeta. I don't know. <laughs> v or Go? Pick the prefix that you like most. V. All right, Vegito. Good call. Uh, when will Dragon Ball Super return? 
when we are all dead and the world implodes because we didn't take good care of the earth. I love the outreach message that you're putting out there right now, but that's inaccurate. It's 2020. Uh, Wait, Dragon Ball Super's coming back? Will you listen to, will you listen slash, oh, shit, I can't even read. Will you listen slash subscribe to our podcast? Very on there. Yeah. Yeah, you, super dope. you guys have cards, right? Uh, 100% with you. Can you just give us like one big, long, kind of dopey? Super dope. Ah, oh, wait, what was the question? <laughs> say super dope. All you gotta say is super dope. Super dope. <laughs> that was enough. You know, short and sweet sometimes, that's enough. All right, thank you, Val. We appreciate you. Thanks. Huh? <laughs> Word. Night, all right. It's been, it's been a long weekend. We're long back here at Dragon yeah. Ball. Super dope. We're out on Comic Con. Oh no, Jimmy's drinking my Bud Light. Yeah. Do you want to get me a drink? Kind of. Yeah. No, I kind of. I just want to drink all of it. I need a little bit because my throat is horse. horse. Oh, it's like horse. Speaking of horses, we got a fruit llama back here. What's up, Hunter Farm? It's a loot llama. Yeah, no, I keep saying fruit llama very much on purpose. I wish you guys would understand that. Anyway, we're here with Cage at Ronaldo Comic Con. Cage, how are you, man? Uh, I'm doing well. I appreciate the fact that you guys drink in podcasts, really, honestly. Like, yeah, it's like we're the first guys to ever do that. I, it's just I, I envy you. I wish I could be doing this while I record. In all seriousness, whenever I meet a podcaster, the first question I say to them or ask them, because I don't say questions, I ask them, I'm like, hey, you guys drink beers while you podcast? So here's the thing. I have been pitching it since we hit episode 21 of my show that we should be doing. Uh, yeah, what's oh, your show about, uh, man? Uh, first in 10, I do a weekly NFL podcast um, with me and a couple buddies about all things like NFL related on and off the field. It's called First in 10. Do you work for ESPN? Uh, no, I do not. But all I'm going to say is that you'll notice during NFL games you hear them say first and 10 a lot. And I'm not saying that we sponsor the NFL or not, but they they talk about our podcast quite a lot during their games. Also, I'm pretty sure that ESPN has a very prominent sports center segment called first and 10. Um, I'm just- And have had for 30 years. I am gonna plead the fifth, and I'm gonna talk about how much I like Dragon Ball now. You can't plead the fifth about history, man. All right, anyway, I, uh, we, listen, I Googled first and 10, and I want you to know nothing came up. That is my- Not even my, a football thing? What the hell? I don't nothing, dude. It was just I googled first and ten, and the Google thing was blank. I was like, I'm right, rewriting the book. Yeah, I questioned if this actually happened. <laughs> All right, Cage, we're gonna run through a series of Dragon Ball questions real quick. I'm um, down. So I noticed that you had a, a cool um, Dragon Ball phone case here. Uh, so we're just gonna uh, kind of jump in at like a very um, barometer-ish level. Are you ready? I, I'm ready as ever. To, uh, Cage, what's your favorite character? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with. I really like. Goten. I don't know why, but Goten is just really cool, and he, he just, no one, he never gets to shine because Chi-Chi sucks, so. In all seriousness, dude needs to grow up by now, right? Well, I mean, yeah, but it's just, I really enjoy how little he is and how strong he actually is, but then he'll never get to fight, so. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Like, in all seriousness, if you look at the timeline of Dragon Ball Super, Goten should be, like, fucking 12 by now, but he's he still should. 7. Yeah, and it's it was super weird to me when I, like, watched Z and the end of Z during that, like, two-episode arc where Goten's, like, a weird teen, and then you watch all of Super and he's a kid again. <laughs> Mind fuck you, man. You know what I love about Goten and Dragon Ball GT? I didn't watch GT. Well, you should. You know why? Uh, why? Because Goten just running around pounding hoes. Yeah. Is he really? I swear to God, he's dating lots of attractive women. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he's like, Good for I don't have time to save the world. I'm trying to sleep with this girl. What's going on? Good job, Jimmy. Wow. All right, second card. What's your favorite special attack from Dragon Ball? All right. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I immediately just thought of Key Blast because I have no imagination apparently, so I'm gonna go with Key Blast. Key Blast is not really a special attack; it's, it's just more of a general attack. I I play Dragon Ball Fighter yeah, Z. Dragon I want you to know, I play Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, I played it. That's a move. Yeah. It's an attack. Key Volley. Key, yeah, that's a move. I'm so happy that you went from Dragon Ball Fighter Z to Dragon Fighter Dragon Ball Fighters very quickly. Because yeah, don't worry, I know the community enough. <laughs> yeah, we are a bunch of assholes. Yeah. Well, what is your favorite Dragon Ball arc? Ooh, all right. So, I really loved. Goku Black. I feel like it's an unpopular opinion. Uh, bye. I, I love Goku Black. Uh, besides that, I guess the Cell Saga is a classic. The Cell, like the to Cell Tournament. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. So, just for my own edification, Cage, how old are you? I am 22 years old. Ah, if you listen back to previous episodes of Dragon Ball Super Dope, you can see that I predicted Cage's answer based on his age. Next question. <laughs> now that we've gauged you, and that's really what it says, new Broly or old Broly? Ooh, uh, old Broly. I like the and old Broly. And why? Bro 
I just like I watched the old Broly movie first, so when the new one came out, I guess like that was my vision of Broly and everything. So I was just I was like, oh, that's Broly. Like he's so different. I, with that being said, new Broly's cool. Just old Broly's more more nostalgic to me. I like old Broly strictly for his pants. New Broly's got a much better backstory though. Question five: uh, Vegito or Gogeta? All right. Well, I'm gonna say mm, Vegito. Okay. I'll take that for what it is. Face value. I mean, Vegito hasn't definitely lost against all of his foes, and Gogeta has conquered all, but... Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when will Dragon Ball Super return? Well, I, I apparently was told 2020, which is by my... By who? Uh, by you guys, of course. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, by uh, secret people behind the glass. All we're saying is that Goku is definitely the uh, Japanese mascot for the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. Uh, will you cage... This is like the most important question. You ready? Yo, I'm ready. Final and last and last and final. Okay. Okay. Are you... Uh, I almost said, are you ready again? Will you listen slash subscribe to our podcast? I I'm almost about to give you guys five stars in the middle of this interview. I'm going to be honest. Oh, my God. Cage <laughs> just hit the sweet spot. Cage, thank you so much for your time, brother. We appreciate you. Of course, I appreciate you guys, and I hope Goku gets in Smash. Now give me one more super dope. A super dope. That was perfect. Super dope. Super dope. All right, thank you. <laughs> right here, back here, Team Rocket. All right, you want to be on the podcast now? Uh, okay. Answer it's okay five if you don't or six want to be. Dragon Ball questions. My name is Kyle. Oh, fun, name? sir. My name is Jim. Jim, how you doing, dude? Good, how are you? I'm, uh, I'm not, like, moderately all right. I'm kind of hungry. Oh, well, me too, actually. <laughs> also, I need to pee again. Shit. All right, can we ask you some Dragon Ball questions? Sure, I go for it. All right, so, uh, Jimmy, you're going to hand that because literally this is what I'm paying him for today. Actually, let's, let's do Captain Jim. Don't call me Jimmy. Captain Jim. <laughs> oh, shit, you know what it is now? You're Jim, and he's Jimmy. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't calling you Jimmy. I felt like that would be disrespectful. You're Jim. This is Jimmy, but now you're Captain Jim. How do you feel, Captain Jim? Awesome, dude. All right, word, man. What is your favorite Dragon Ball character? Uh, Vegeta. And why? Oh, well, I mean, he's the Prince of all Saiyans. He's very powerful. I think he could beat Goku, honestly. He totally could and has a couple uh, times <laughs> over. Oh, of course. I like your style, Jim. I like your moves. Thank you, sir. Uh, next question. What are your favorite special attack? Oh, um, yeah, probably, uh, probably, probably Vegeta's, uh, uh, God damn it. <laughs> he dropped his card. I don't even need this card. <laughs> Fuck this card. <laughs> uh, it's the, uh, uh, what's his name? No, not Final Flash. It's, Big uh, Bang, Mom? Big that, Bang Attack. Yeah, 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 that's one. Gallic Gun. Gallic Gun. Gallic Gun. Oh, yeah, Gallic Gun's a good pick, too. I usually go Big Bang Attack. Uh, what is your favorite Dragon Ball arc? Oh, uh, probably the original Dragon Ball, the first, just the, orig the original season. The first, like, 13 episodes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, That's... man. And then, you know, they just ultimately wish for a pair of panties because, you know, yeah, those that was panties me, yeah. are cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, why <true>. not? <laughs> All right, Captain Jim, now that we've gauged, uh, you know, how much you may be or may not be, but you are, yes. invested in Dragon Ball, uh, do you like the new Broly or the old Broly? Uh, I would still go with old Brawly, even though I don't necessarily like Brawly in the first place. Yeah, he's a fucking shitty character, and anybody who claims <laughs> that he's their favorite is wrong. It, it makes no sense in the long run. He's like, oh, yeah, I, I have a feud with you because uh, you kicked me as a baby. <laughs> but all that being said, the way they've re written new Brawly actually is kind of an interesting thing. I like it a lot. Oh, well, either way, it's still a stupid character. But the thing is, I really like old Brawly because of his pants. <laughs> Okay. His pants are cool. All right, next. Uh, Vegito or Gogeta? Uh, I would still go with Vegito. Any reason in particular? Yeah, probably cooler. Cool as hell. Plus, he has like a full orange and blue thing as opposed to that weird little vest that Gogeta rocks. Oh, yeah. All right, when will Dragon Ball Super return to the air with new episodes? Hopefully never. God damn it. Captain Jim, you don't know who you're talking to right now, do you? <laughs> uh, last question. Will you listen slash subscribe? Subscribe to our podcast. <laughs> sure, why not? Kind of like it, but will you review it as well? Sure, uh, as long as I'm on there. Will you sign it as Captain Jim so that we know? Actually, no. Can you sign it as Captain Jim with the red ribbon? Not red ribbon. Oh, red ribbon. God damn it, Jimmy. Who did this to me? He said, hey, I met a guy. He's got a red fucking... I'm doing it again. he got a Team Rocket thing, but I thought red ribbon, and now I'm all... Oh, my God. All right, Jimmy, you totally screwed this entire thing up. It's a hard super dope. Yeah, Jimmy. Just give us one more. Uh, we do this thing where, like, you know, we drink beers and then yell, super dope. You just give us a super dope. Super dope.
Good enough, good enough. Captain Jim, we appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right, thank you, guys. Take care. All right, here we are. Uh, outside. I know, accidentally. It was an accident. I stole your cigarettes. So me and Jimmy are outside of the Rhode Island Convention Center, uh, you know, doing the Dragon Ball Super Dope thing. We are here with our new Dragon Ball friend. What's your name, man? Lewis. Lewis, how you doing? All right. You like Dragon Ball, huh? Love it. How old are you, if you don't mind my asking? 37. 37? Word, man. Like, OG Dragon Ball fan. Yeah. Me and you both, man. I'm 30. So, like, I'm like, we, I'm in that weird, like, middle bracket. Like, there's some younger kids who are like, I don't really know Dragon Ball. But, like, a guy like yourself, you know Dragon Ball from back in the day. Yeah. All right. So, I'm just going to ask you a handful of questions. They're mostly opinion based, but some of them got, like, new Dragon Ball stuff. You've been watching Dragon Ball Super at all? Not yet. All right. Well, first of all, you're fucking up. Second of all, I'm asking these questions anyway, okay? <laughs> All right, Lewis, let's do this thing. Uh, who is your favorite character? Gohan. Gohan? Which version of Gohan? Like, little kid Gohan, teen Gohan, adult Gohan? Through and through, he's a badass. Yeah, through and through. Like, I like the, the little guy. Yeah, when he's on Namek fucking shit up? Yeah. He's, like, kicking Ginyu Force people in the in the nads. He's domesticated because he's too small. Like, he just he destroys Cell himself exactly. by himself. Oh, yeah. His father knew that was going to happen. He said, nobody takes him, my son. Nobody takes him seriously, man. Nah, nobody takes him seriously. They're fucking up. All right. Next question. Ready? Uh, I got to figure out a better way. I'm fucking. What's your favorite special attack? Kunum Kai. What was it? The, the Kai. When he does the. When he, Knock him out. The Kamehameha? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Word. I'm spinning all goddamn day. We've been, at, we've been at Comic Con since Friday at like 4 <laughs> o'clock. We spinning, man. Uh, all right, Louis, now that we gauge you, man, um, new Broly or old Broly? Which one you picking? New Broly. Any reason in particular? He's, he's different. He's like, he's way, way, way complicated for go on. The backstory for new Broly is way better put together, but the old one had way cooler pants. Yeah, it did. <laughs> this new one's got pants where I can see his his, well, his bulge, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he's powerful. I feel uncomfortable with new Broly. It's true, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Vegito or Gogeta? That's the fusion of Goku and Vegeta, but one's with the dance, one's with the earrings. Which one you got? The earrings. Earrings all day, why? He's m more, more complicated of defeating beat him up like you know it's hard, hard to, to attack him back in the day man you used to be like permanent vegeto's permanent 2016 dragon ball super took a big old shit on that idea <laughs> vegeto ain't permanent no more uh when will dragon ball super return i have no that i don't know that's okay it's 2020 when goku's the olympic mascot and uh <laughs> i'm just fucking totally spitballing i'm just guessing i'm just guessing all right lewis last question will you listen Subscribe, recommend to your friends our podcast, Dragon Ball Super Dope. Yes, I will. You're goddamn right, Lewis. We thank you for being on, man. Have a good rest thank of your you. weekend. All right, give us a Super Dope. Super Dope! Super Dope! That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Thanks, Lewis. <laughs>
Understandable. No, Android, but you said specifically Android, not the Cell arc. Specifically the Android arc where Gohan gets killed. One arm Gohan makes me oh. sad. One arm Gohan makes me so sad. <laughs> All right, awesome. next question. Now that we've gauged you as a fan, David fucking Kessler, um, and you already alluded to this person earlier in our conversation, first answer was Broly. Do you prefer new Broly or old Broly? Both Broly's are best. Best Broly is video games Broly. Because he just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and he gets it all over the screen when he gets to this final <laughs> stage. And then you're just like whipping attacks everywhere. And no character feels better to play than in those fighting games than Broly does. Because he just occupies so much space. You're like, no, this is my video game. Fuck <laughs> off. This is my stage, right? I am more that angry. Solid. All right, so solid. video game Broly would mean old Broly, in my opinion, because the pants. Pants are important. Yeah. Pants are fucking vital. All right, next. Vegito or Gogeta? Gogeta. Any reason in particular? Because he's got a better attitude. And also the vest. The vest is definitely solid. I'm a vest my, myself. I love how there's so many vests in Dragon he's Ball. Invested. And it gives a lot of... I'm invested in the Dragon Ball fashion of vests. <laughs> like, new vests for me in Dragon Ball are class. When you look at character design in Dragon Ball, vests are where you're looking at. Right? Let's Especially that. when it comes to Metamorphic and Fusion characters, best are best, though. I'm still fucking laughing at that. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. When will Dragon Ball Super return? Uh, when it's ready. Best answer we've heard all night, Dave fucking Kessler. Last question. Will you listen, rate, subscribe, recommend to your motherfucking friends to listen to Dragon Ball Super Dope? Dragon Ball Super Dope will be listened to. On the way home tonight from the con. Hopefully it's not too annoying. We give you all the uh, good blessings in the world because, you know. I'm going to start with your highest greatest episode. Uh, well, good luck finding that. Uh, <laughs> a lot of garbage. A lot of garbage strewn amongst those highest rated episodes. But, Dave, we really appreciate you, man. Uh, hope you enjoy the show. We appreciate you taking the time. Thank you for talking to me. And just oh, yeah. I almost let you have it. Uh, can all you just right. give. So we do this thing. Uh, go ahead. Give me an example. Super dope. Can you just give us a super dope? Super dope. Wow, you started in the low register and then brought it up like that beautifully. Way to go, Dave fucking Kessler. You're welcome. Thanks, man. This dollar is going to be yours, sir. What's your name? Eddie. Eddie what? Eddie Laz. Fucking Super Saiyan Eddie Laz. How are, you, how are you doing, man? How's your Comic-Con weekend going? Oh, it's absolutely terrific. Cool, man. So I noticed that you've got a really, really good Super Saiyan wig. Most Super Saiyan wigs are kind of fucking whack when you go to cons. Well, how'd you nail it? Uh, actually, the truth is, that actually, I didn't make it myself. It was actually commissioned from a um, from a cosplay site that's imported from Canada. Oh, very cool! So, like, you invested and you got a good return on your investment. Indeed, I have. This isn't no Halloween bullshit, right here. Exactly. All right, Eddie Laz, Super Saiyan Eddie Laz. We're gonna ask you some questions about Dragon Ball. It's mostly opinion-based questions, but at the end of it, so long as you get through the end of it, we'll give you a motherfucking dollar. Are you in? Sure. All right. Question number one: What or who? It's who. Who is your favorite character? Uh, Goku. Why? Because he, I think he reflects my inner Saiyan pride. The ability to constantly overcome limits and just uh, keep breaking through that ceiling to, uh, you know, beat the bad guy and shit? Exactly. I think, I think you should listen to Dragon Ball Super Dope, now available on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify. Question number two. Who or what? It's what now. What is your favorite special attack? Let's see. I was going to say, I'll do like more transformations than attacks, but I'm going to say Kamehameha. Oh, gee, baby. I appreciate that. All right. Kamehameha. Especially, especially super Kamehameha. You know what I'm pretty partial to? Really I'm really partial to the warp Kamehameha because it's like, you're not going to be able to hit me with this because you're doing it so far away. And I've seen the Kamehameha every guy did in 15 years. Kamehameha. And then it's like, shit, where'd he go? Ha! Oh, Sorry about that, lady. My favorite Kamehameha's was when he blasts you into the sun. He's like, fuck you, Kamehameha, yeah. blast you into the sun. Yeah, he puts people into the... I think of the way it kind of goes with Super Kamehameha, yeah. I would say. Right, yeah. I'll put a motherfucker under the sun. Uh, Eddie, what is... It's Eddie. Yes. I didn't fuck up. What is your favorite arc? My favorite arc would have to be Resurrection F. Wow, you going for Katsu no F? You know that's like a historically hated arc in Dragon Ball, right? Uh, okay, thank you. He got the best wig, doesn't he? I'm saying, Eddie, you're killing it with the ladies, too, dude. <laughs> well, I am single, actually. Eddie is single. Oh. Holding it down. Yo, good boot game, too. Yeah. She's Eddie. All right. Uh, 
Now that we've gauged you as a fan, Eddie, obviously I'm not a very good fan because I didn't notice your boots at first. New Broly or old Broly? New Broly. Definitely new Broly. Any reason in particular? Yes, because he's much more developed and is actually quite an interesting opponent. And um, I just say he's like much more relatable, more sympathetic. What about his pants? Yeah, his pants is badass too. But we like old pants because old pants reveals less of a bulge and it makes me feel like, you know, less uh, homosexual. <laughs> you, you don't like the fuzzy beastie look? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, hey, my dead thing wrapped an ear around my waist. Yeah, no, I totally get it. But, like, old Brody had, like, a flowy, like, I'm, I'm royalty kind of pants. And I miss those pants. Bring back the royal pants. Yeah, but I feel the Broly one, the, the new Broly, I think, has more of a relatable feel. More, um, like I said, more sympathetic. And, frankly, I really preferred the, his uh, his development than just going with the whole thing with Kakarots! 100%. Eddie, you're nailing it, dude. The way that this new Broly is written, way better, morally ambiguous. So we'll see if he ends up with our guys or if he's with Freezer or what. All right, Vegito or Gogeta? Uh, Gogeta. You are correct. <laughs> when will Dragon Ball Super come back? Uh, it, would, it depends on whatever's going on in Japan as far as the... Um, as far as developers are, are concerned, I mean, there was a issue where they had a, it was an anniversary of an older anime that they actually, rem, uh, they originally had Dragon Ball Super in that time slot. You know, Kataro, yeah, Kataro. Yeah, exactly. And, um, yeah, since then, because I know that series then came to an end, so since then it's kind of hard to say exactly, but then again, Japan, as of right now, is having a little bit of a issue as far as its anime is concerned, how how they're treated. They're really pressured. They don't have the same kind of regulations and rights to say that we have here in the U.S. for animators. So that kind of will play a part, a bit of pressure of that and maybe budget with that too. So Ed, fucking poignant commentary. It's all very valid comments, dude. Here's my thing, though. I heard on YouTube that they were coming back in, like, October, and it's not back yet, and I'm going to basically kill myself. Right so now, where, where did you get that from? Not from a guy named Danny Geek to 101. <laughs> anyway, last question for you, Eddie. <laughs> Uh, will you listen, subscribe, recommend to all your Dragon Ball loving friends the podcast Dragon Ball Super Dope? I, I certainly would. I'm really willing to give it a shot. I like Eddie's attitude. Eddie, thank you so much for being on Dragon Ball Super Dope. Hope you have a good rest of your con weekend, dude. Hey, you as well, man. So we're driving, we're driving an escalator down the escalator, and it's going well. And we just talked to Eddie. He did a good job. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what time is it. What time is it? Hey, Fruit Llamas, I see you, mother... Uh, see, look at that kid, Blue Shirt. All right, so my name's Kyle. What's up? Super up. We're doing uh, this thing where we walk around Rhode Island Comic Con and just ask random Dragon Ball fans some Dragon Ball questions. Uh, I am here with... Joel. Joel, cool fucking name, dude. How you doing? Not too bad. How are you guys doing tonight? Badass shirt. Yeah, we're drinking. He's got a really cool kid boo shirt on, and he's about to literally destroy the world. So, cool. Yes. Yes. Uh, yo. Very cool. We're going to ask you some Dragon Ball questions, Joel. Is that all right? Yes. All right. Are you ready? Maybe. Might be too high for this. That's all right. We've been drinking all day. We're not high enough for this. All right. Ready? Who is your favorite Dragon Ball character? Oh, man. We just went through this earlier, and I was, I don't know, probably Goku. Probably Goku. That's okay. Just, you you know, want to give me a reason? It's close time between Goku and Vegeta. You know, I mean, but I do have a Goku tattoo. Oh, dude, the Boku Watashi Angels Goku. That's what's up, dude. All right. All right, cool, man. Joel's cool. Joel's cool. All right, you ready, Joel? Next question. All right. What is your favorite special attack? Command Man. Goddamn right, Command Man. Next. <laughs> what is your favorite arc? Ooh. It's a toughie, I know. Majin Buu, but I'm probably gonna say so. So. What was the what was the over under on how many times people will pick so? Uh, I mean, he was just like you know, he's just like all of them. He's a showboat, you know, like. like oh, bring it on. Any sex? Any sexy? And I think one of my favorites because they like they both pushed all the like characters to you know. And Team to Gohan. High, they just forced Being each other badass. to higher levels. If it wasn't for selling the androids, they wouldn't probably be nearly as strong as they were. Yeah. Excellent point, Joel. All right, Joel, now that we've got where you're at in terms of fandom, now that we've gauged you, <laughs> old Broly or new Broly? Ooh. I love old Broly, but I'm... Because the pants. Yes. He was just yes. so... 
cool. He's just so violent. That's I do love the new Raleigh because they're not only modernizing it, but they're making it so they can continue on with it. Because he's not an enemy, but he's not their friend. He's morally ambiguous. So they could be they could bring him back as either one. They, you know, Goku wanted to spar with him. He's like, like hey, buddy, I know you're my enemy, but I still want to fight you and be a friend. Joel might have the new best answer, and I'll tell you why. Because he agreed with the pants thing, but then also followed up and picked a new Broly because he's way better written. I do like the original Broly design. Yeah, yeah the, new bro the old Broly design is way cooler. Jesus' costume was so much cooler, but I do like the story behind the new one. It's not the best looking, but I do like the story behind it. So, Vig Almost out of time here at Round Comic Con. That's why you hear this dope ass announcement going on. Vegito or Gogeta? Ooh, Gogeta. Goddamn right, Gogeta. We don't even need to ask you why, because you're right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when will Dragon Ball Super return? Hopefully soon. I know they have uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes going on. I don't know when they're gonna, if they're ever gonna do an English version of it, but. All right, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Is it cool as fuck, or is it super fucking dumb? What I've seen of it is awesome because it's, it just seems like it's more what fans wanted to see. It's like 12-year-old me fanfic boner me. Exactly. It's like the what-if fights, you know? Like yes! We're going to finally get to see Super Saiyan God versus Super Saiyan uh, 4. I'm like, this is awesome. Yes. That's the reason as, Super Dragon Ball Heroes exists, Joel! God damn it! As GT <laughs> wasn't the best, it was still awesome to see characters of that show come in and be freaking awesome like that. Yeah. All right, last question, Joel. All right. Will you listen slash subscribe slash recommend to everybody you've ever met in your goddamn life to listen to Dragon Ball Super Dope? Yes. Perfect right. answer. You That's nailed it. Super dope. Now, we do this thing where we do a Super Dope. You can just give us your own little Super Dope. Super Dope. Yeah. That's exactly it. <laughs> Joel's the best so interview of the weekend. We can go home now and feel that we've accomplished something. Joel, cool fucking shirt. Nice job, dude. Thank you, guys. And he made a dollar. Day three over at Island Comic Con. My name is Kyle. Jimmy. Hey, and we're here doing the thing. Where'd Amber go? Amber fucking run away? Looking at Amber's looking at dragons. That's one of the most Amber's things I've ever heard in my life. So uh, it's been kind of an annoying day. Uh, we got some good sound last night, but the sound maybe doesn't sound super dope, unlike the rest of our dope-ass podcast. But it's cool. I'm going to uh, slam a beer real quick. Oh, here she is. Hi, Amber. Hey. Ready to ask people some weird-ass random Dragon Ball questions? Yeah. Maybe some MHA questions, even though you don't like MHA or Dragon Ball as a whole? I like Dragon Ball. Goddamn right you do. That was a trick question. You passed. All right. Here we go. I've had a really annoying day. I'm about to chug this beer. And away. We go. Hey, Goku. Want to answer some questions for a dollar? Maybe. All right. They're about Dragon Ball. Does that help make the decision easier for you? Depends on what. All right. What do you mean? What do you mean by depends on what? It just depends on the questions. I, I feel like I know a lot in some areas and not a lot in others. So not necessarily trivia questions. It's more like your opinion on stuff. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So here's what we're going to do. My name's Kyle. Very nice to meet you. What's your name, sir? Goku. What's your real name? Sean. Sean Chemmel? No. Funny if it was, though, right? Yeah. No. He's the only jack-off up there in the room anymore. All right, uh, question. He's, he's, he's leaving, though, anyway. Yeah, I think uh, we missed pretty much everybody for the day. But question one, which I have somewhere very easily accessible, uh, I hope it's something I know about. Yeah, no, it totally is. Um, sorry, dude, I'm a fucking mess. Dragon Ball questions. There they are. There they are. Question one. Who is your favorite Dragon Ball character? Probably Frieza. Good pick, dude. Why, though? Well, I really feel like he, it took him a while to hit his stride like until Re Resurrection F, because I wasn't a huge fan of the first voice actor. He's kind of just smelled like he smelled. He kind of sounded like he just smoked cigarettes for 30 years. Yeah, was that Linda Hamilton? Not Hamilton, Linda, uh, Linda Young. Not a, not, not, a, not a knock against her, just... But we like Chris Ayers. Yes. Chris Ayers rules. Question two. Who or I, what? I don't even think I really answered the first question as to why. Oh, yeah, uh, Frieza. Oh, and what? Well, probably because he's unique and that he's not... A, a sympathetic villain, and we don't have too many of those anymore. It's very true. He don't give a shit about anybody. And his voice actor is incredible. Chris Ayers, baby. Yeah. What is your favorite special attack? Probably the Kianzan. Kianzan. All right, cool. Good pick. Cut through anything. Nobody's picked Kianzan all week. Awesome. What is your favorite Dragon Ball arc? Probably Cell. Cell arc, because it had a lot of variety. It's like six or seven people pick Cell, and I picked that last week in our... Uh... All right, now that we've gauged you, yeah. uh, Sean, what 
Uh, excuse me, now that we've gauged you, Sean, new Broly or old Broly? New Broly. Why? Well, to be fair, I haven't seen the whole thing of the old Broly. The, You're not missing much. The, I, I know. The new Broly, it added a lot more to the character. I really feel yes. like it, um, first of all, the animation was a lot better, but I mean, I know just times change. That's not a knock on the Dragon Ball Z animation style. Do you not like fucking Yamamoro? How dare you? No, that's not true at all. Jeez Louise, Moses. All right. Vegeta or Gogeta? Probably Gogeta. You're right. Kind of just sounds better. <laughs> when will Dragon Ball Super return? Hopefully by sometime in 2020. Like I, I'm, dying, I'm dying for it to come back. Yeah, me too. It hurts me that it's not back. I kind of want to kill myself. I teeter on the edge every week. I know, me too. Jeez Louise. All right, we're of the same ilk. Uh, last question, ready? Yeah. Will you listen, rate, subscribe to our podcast, Dragon Ball Super Dope, on wherever you listen to podcasts? Probably, if I just knew, knew what the name was. It's called Dragon Ball Super Dope. All right, so then we do this. Yeah, then we do this thing at the end uh, where we, uh, not always at the end, but I yell it a lot. Basically, we just yell. Oh, wait, are you guys all, like kind of like Team Four Star? No. I know that you meant well with that compliment, Sean. <laughs> uh, we don't have a card for this guy, do we? Oh, we do. Last one. Yeah. Uh, last question. Can you. Can, can you just give us a quick super dub? Super dub! That was the best one we got all weekend. Sean, thanks, man. Appreciate Thank it. You. And here is your motherfucking dollar. Boom. I don't know why I hit stop. I thought we recorded it before. But anyway, now that we're back on, Sean kicked ass. Let's see if we can grab a couple more. Tell me what's a joke. Look There's at this in Indian. Village people. <laughs> oh, the guy from the village people, the Indians here. He's leaving though. You think he's gay? Probably, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stop burping in the mic. So fun. Whammo, kablammo. Thank you, mammo. No, we believe you, Sean. <laughs> Great job, man. Thank you again. Miss, for a dollar, will you answer some questions about Dragon Ball? My name's Kyle, this is Dragon Ball Super Dope, and I'm here today with my friend... Allison Blundelin. Allison Blundelin, cosplay extraordinaire. Is that matches Malone behind you? No, that's Raymond Ramos. Raymond! What's up? All right, so you just want to go by Allison Blundelin? Yeah. Jesus, man, that's messing me up. That voice changer is so cool. <laughs> All right, so we are going to give you um, a couple of questions regarding Dragon Ball, and uh, if you do well at the end of it, we'll give you a dollar. Is that cool? Sounds good to me. All right, cool. Uh, Amber, uh, this is my, my beer assistant, Amber. Uh, question. No, 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 you're not. You're much more than that. <laughs> Should have realized. You got this right. You're always a hot mess. I don't want to hear it. Question number one. Who is your favorite Dragon Ball character? I have two. I can't pick one. You got to pick one or the other. Make a decision now. Bulma. Good pick. All right. All right. <laughs> Any reason in particular? Um, because she's confident, sexy, and sassy, and she's helpful, and that's exactly who I am. She's literally the smartest woman on the planet Earth, and nobody ain't got more money than her, not even Jeff Bezos. Yeah, but she'll also show you good, her goods for some Dragon Balls. I mean, she's not above throwing her titties out there to get what she I'm needs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. What is your favorite special attack? Spirit bomb, even though it takes like five episodes to complete. <laughs> get Kitama in this bitch. Yeah, it takes a little bit too long, but... Pretty powerful altogether. Uh, what is your favorite arc of Dragon Ball? Dude, I don't, I don't know. No, nope, don't have that. All right, pick your favorite villain and we'll go from there. My Jim Boo. All right, Boo Art Girl, that's cool. Now that we've gauged you, Alice in Wonderland. Uh, do you like the new Broly better or the old Broly? Uh, 
I like the old Broly, the graphics, the, the drawing, the art was Because the pants, right? Yeah. The pants are so good. good. Yeah. Plus, there's like some real, like, jewel stuff going on. Like, he you got like some braids. Like, he looks more like the Egyptian Sphinx than the, the, the newer one. I like I like the old style of drawing. I like it a heck of a lot more myself. Yeah. All right. Vegito or Gogeta? Gogeta. Good pick. You are correct. Good one on Broly. That's yeah. good one. When will Dragon Ball Super yeah. return? I, got one last I don't know. I don't know either, but I do know that that voice changer is mad cool. <laughs> last question. Would you rate, subscribe to our podcast wherever you listen to podcasts? I already have, dude. Perfect answer. You know, <laughs> normally I just say, because they're like, yeah, probably. And I'm like, all right, I'll take it. But you already did it, so you I literally did. have the most perfect <laughs> of answers. Allison Boyd, I want to thank you so much. Not a problem. Woo. He doesn't give me a dollar. I'll just go listen to him sing, and he'll make, I'll make him play me a song when he does acoustic sex. I'm good on my dollars. All right, I totally hand out the dollars. Um, do you want to give us a super dope for the end? Just a quick super dope. Super dope. Perfect. Alessandro, Comic-Con extraordinaire from 2018. What's up, buddy? How are you? I'm good, you? How have you been, buddy? I'm, I've been really good. In case you didn't listen to Comic-Con 2018, Alessandro's the guy who won the signed Bumble Pop, right? Yeah. Jeez Louise, you made it like a bandit. <laughs> yeah. And then you showed up to uh, the live event that we did at Askew, too. You made your brother bring you, right? Yeah. Excellent, man. You having a good time this year at the con? Yes, definitely. You want to answer some questions for a dollar? Sure. All right, cool. Now, typically, we don't always ask the younger children, but, you know, you're already a friend of the show, so I don't feel nearly as bad about it. Are you ready, Alessandro? Yes. All right, question number one. Alessandro, who is your favorite Dragon Ball character? Goku. Any reason why? Uh, it's just because I've grown up with him in Dragon Ball Super, in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Kai, like any of those shows, I just grew up with him. Goku's the fucking conduit, man. He's the best. <laughs> what is your favorite special attack? Um, I guess I got to go with Galactic Gun. Galic gun? Galic gun, sorry. Galic gun. No, I heard you say Galic gun. You didn't say galactic. Uh, what is your favorite? What is your favorite arc? My favorite arc? Yeah. Um, uh, Frieza arc. All right, good pick, Namek. I'm a big fan of Planet Namek myself. Now, Alessandro, this card says, now that I've gauged you, here's the thing. I've known you for a while. We already know that you're down yeah. with it. So, new Broly or old Broly? Which one do you prefer? 100% old Broly. Why? Uh, he just wait. Seems way cooler to me. And also the pants, right? Yeah. <laughs> pants are way cooler. Vegito or Gogeta? That's a hard one. Uh, I think I go Gogeta. You are correct. <laughs> when will Dragon Ball Super return with new episodes? Hopefully soon. I don't really know when, but. Do you not listen to Dragon Ball Super Dope now available on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify? I didn't really get to listen to that one but i really listened to on the way i think the friday i listened to uh goku uh, yeah goku all might uh versus superman and i found that to be really interesting and finally you just made my goddamn <laughs> weekend dude thank you for saying that he listened to uh, that's, a, that's a plug inside a plug uh watching uh listening to the all might goku and uh Superman episode, I appreciate you, man. Um, last thing, can you please give us a soup it up? Soup it up! Perfect. Thank you, Alessandro. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Oh. oh there Sir, are. for a dollar, you want to answer some Dragon Ball questions? They're mostly like subjective, opinion based stuff. Okay, sure. Cool. So, my name's Kyle. I am here today with my friend. Good Dragon Ball Z, Goku. Goku. Your name's Goku for the day? Yep. Very cool, man. So I'm going to ask you some questions about Dragon Ball Z. Just going to get your opinion on things, see how it goes, okay? All right, question number one. Who is your favorite Dragon Ball character? As always, drag, as always, Goku. Goku? Is it just because like he's day one, number one, or any reason in particular? Well, he's the, the, the best on every season. season. He's the best. Just always, it's always about his business. Yep, his business. Really can't discount that. What is your favorite special attack? The special attack is the Kamehameha. You're damn right. I love the enthusiasm and the delivery. Okay, man, cool. Uh, question number three. What is your favorite arc of Dragon Ball? My favorite arc, uh, arc is the... Um, well, I guess just being pick a favorite villain. We'll roll with that. Okay, a villain uh, I'm, I'm never going to forget is Frieza. 
Excellent. Why, why does Frieza stick out in your head? Because Frieza destroyed my hometown, my dad, and my mom. Jesus, man. You are really committed to the Goku backstory. I love it. Yeah. Now that we know where you're at as a fan, do you like old Broly or new Broly? The new Broly. Any reason in particular? No. I think he's, he's, he's pretty cool and more... More stronger in attacks. He's got a way cooler story too, right? Yep. The old Broly had those pants. The pants were cool. Yeah, the pants was cool. But the new one, Broly had a pants in the fur. He could fur in the back of his pants. Damn right. Now, do you prefer Vegito or Gogeta? Gogeta. Gogeta, you are correct. Um, last question. When will Dragon Ball Super return? Probably uh, around um, next year in 2020 in in, in DNU in in my hometown it will showcase sh sh showcase. Perfect answer. Last question for you. Uh, so we yell lots of stuff. Basically, the name of the show is Dragon Ball Super Dope, yeah. and we yell Super Dope like idiots sometimes. Can you just give us your best Super Dope? The best Super Dope is the is the Super Saiyan. The best one I could have asked for, man. Appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. I owe you one dollar. Hold up. <laughs> Guy just couldn't kill it. That that was a very serious commitment. Delivery, all that stuff. Oh, I lost my dollars though. Word. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your night. Whoo! I got to took it to a whole new level. Next. So, Rhode Island Comic Con 2019, awesome weekend. Thank you to Jimmy, thank you to Amber, thank you to Carlton, sort of, Feds, Danielle, everybody who helped us make this weekend a really good time. Hopefully, um, you found this sound and you maybe met us over the weekend and we asked you some obnoxious questions. Maybe I spilled a beer on your shoe. If I did, I don't feel that bad about it. Fuck a shoe anyway. Uh, we'll see you in 2020 for Rhode Island Comic Con. Um, always good to have um, such a strong convention here on our home state so big thanks to altered reality uh, obviously for hosting us but you know just continuing to do this year after year eight years strong con keeps getting better literally every single year so uh thank you to them and uh yeah we're gonna be signing off my name is kyle this is jimmy this is Beds. this is daniel this is amber and we are the fuck up out of here